Hi there, what's up everybody? Keith Schweigert here from LankSports.com with your two-minute drill for Friday night's District 3 Class Quad A playoff clash between Wilson and York, which will get underway at 7 p.m. in West Lawn. This is your classic battle between two teams that are headed in opposite directions. The Bulldogs claimed their 19th LL League Section 1 title and wrapped up a fantastic regular season last week by beating Warwick. They finished 9-1 on the year. Keep in mind, this is a team that had to replace 20 starters from last year's team, which won the district title and made it all the way to the state semifinals. Boy, the Bulldogs hardly missed a beat this year. Meanwhile, York's heading into the playoffs locked in reverse. The Bearcats opened the season with six straight wins, but the wheels have come flying off since then. Last week, they got beat 28-7 by Central York. That was their fourth straight loss. They've been outscored 100-14 and shut out twice and held to just 72 total yards per game on average in all four of those losses. So what happened to York? Well, much of the blame could be placed on an injury suffered by their starting quarterback, Kelvin Parker. He hurt his collarbone in week six, and he's been out ever since. At the time, he had more than 1,000 total yards from scrimmage and 14 touchdowns, so they, re- they have really missed him. The current quarterback, <laughs> which is, this is kind of funny, Big Roger Eaton, he started the season as the team's starting center, so big number 65 goes from snapping the ball to quarterback to taking the snaps. So far for the year, he's completed 12 of 52 passes for 163 yards and a touchdown in his four games. The Bearcats' top rusher is Maurice Williams. He has 648 yards and three TDs on 77 carries. Last year, Wilson got it done with defense. And while the dogs are still not, they're solid on that side of the ball, this year it's the offense that leads the way. Quarterback Zach Swizek pilots an attack that averages 350 yards and 34 points per game. Swizek has completed 116 of 206 passes for 1,700 yards and 15 touchdowns. Most of those throws have gone to Tyler Beck, the big tight end. He has 27 grabs for 534 yards and six scores. Those two are far from the only stars, however. The Bulldogs can also get it done in the ground. They have a good running back in Chris Brown and another one in Nick Greth. They combined for 1,300 yards and 20 TDs in the season. It probably would have been interesting to see this game with York at full strength, but as it stands now, I think Wilson will hardly even break a sweat here. The Bulldogs should cruise into the second round. We'll see if York can make a liar out of me on Friday.